All right, man, torture talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the content. Know what it is, man. We back. Hey, man, look. So today's episode, I'm going to be talking about Kendrick Lamar. Um, He's saying that this isn't, this isn't his, hip-hop isn't his last run. He's going to do some other things out there. And yeah, I think this is very interesting. Before we get into that, you know, I got to get my spill. Last time I did forget my spill, but that's because I'm trying something new. And uh, yeah, let's get it. You know, I got to get my spill. This is Torture Talk. If you like the content, please consider subscribing. If you're new here, let me work for your subscription today. All the beautiful, sexy ladies, put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones at. Just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content absolutely free. But if you want to leave a donation, Links on the screen, Cash App, PayPal is in the description. They called me the Hidden Gem. I went from 1,300 subscribers to over to over 12,000 subscribers. And let me know where you're from, too, man. I really appreciate it. So, look, man, no more talking. We're going to get right to this clip, man. You know what it is, man. We back. back. All right, so let's get it. This comes courtesy of DeVille. Let's go. You know, we love a bill over here. Make sure y'all go subscribe to his channel. Let's go. So I stumbled across this article where it says that Kendrick Lamar says that music isn't my end goal. It says here that rapper and songwriter Kendrick Lamar has admitted music isn't his end goal. And he plans to absorb all the information he possibly can because he is a nerd for it, quoted, to try to find out what his calling could be after music, I suppose is what he's trying to say. Now, there was an interesting thing that was said. Now, I could see that. I could see that. I could see Kendrick actually going into movies. I could actually see him. Well, he was in, uh, I believe, Power. I think he was in an episode of Power. I could definitely see him going into movies. Definitely see him doing other things because he's very talented and he's very animated. He would, be a, he would probably be a phenomenal actor. And that would be another notch in his belt. That's probably your boy Doodle Ball wouldn't wouldn't like. You know what I'm saying? That would probably be pre, pre, pretty be pretty fascinating to see. You know what I'm saying? So let's get back to it. See what he goes. Let's keep going. Listed in this video, and I'll read it right now. After he says that, after he says that the music isn't his end goal, and then he follows up by saying, and his work in the industry is just a start, meaning that the music and the rapping part of his career is just the start to what he ha to what's to come and what's going to be the first thing before he gets on to the next thing in his career. This is not the end goal for him. The third Yeah, I definitely I definitely <laughs> now that I think about it a little more, I definitely could see Kendrick in a couple of different type of movie roles. And I think he would do good. Now, they do Kendrick does have the South Park uh, they, he's working on a, a series with the South Park creators, I believe. I don't know what the series is about. I don't know if it's a comedy. I don't know if it's something serious. I have no idea. I know I've seen, uh, I read a headline about it, but they didn't say uh, what it was about. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully uh, it's something interesting. Well, with Kendrick, you already know it's going to be interesting. I believe him and Dave Free is, uh, is a part of it. So you already know it's going to be a lot of subliminal messages it's going to be a lot of different things that goes on in that show. So let's keep it going. A seven year old rapper and songwriter hopes to communicate more in the future. And he is grateful that music has been a vessel to help him put on the right, to help put him on the right path towards his life goals. This is an interesting take considering that we never really hear him communicate with everybody all at once. The only time that we hear him communicate in general is through the music which is and i find that very fascinating about kendrick he never really like kendrick never really puts himself out there like that but he puts himself out there i think everything he does he tries to make a point to it he don't just come out and just do anything and that's why i think i think that's the big allure about kendrick that's why people are so fascinated by him even celebrities are fascinated by him because he don't necessarily come out and do all these different things you know what I'm saying? And I think that for me, that's one of the major, major, major reasons why I think he's so successful. Forget the talent, because the talent is there. We already know that that's what it is. But 
I think one of his major reasons why he he is he is so mysterious when it comes to certain things. Now, this is a new new thing with him because before it wasn't really like that. Before he was out there, I guess that's what you do when you're trying to get yourself out there. But now he's very mysterious, and I think a lot of people they find that fascinating, including me. And being the vessel, and this is part. This goes back to the interview that he did with SZA in the Bazaar magazine. When asked by SZA what his future plans are, he told Harper's Bazaar magazine, I get fulfilled sharing my experiences with the youth and allowing them to hear these stories and hear the experiences and catch up to them. So to actually answer your question, it's communication, just it's communication just with people in general. And I feel my work in music is just the start. I don't think it's my end goal. I know it's not my end goal. Music is just a vessel to get me there. And it's crazy because we never knew. I mean, I mean, the man is definitely saying that it's not his end goal and music is just a vessel to get him there. But what what do y'all think? What do you think his next uh, career would be? Do you think it's acting? Do you think he's going to try to be a politician? Like, what do you think Kendrick's next move is going to be? I could definitely see him being an actor. I don't know about the politician part. I mean, maybe, but I could definitely see him being an actor. That Kendrick Lamar had any more interest other than just music. I mean, sure, he's came out in a couple scenes as an actor, I think in the show Power with 50 Cent, but we never know what's the next step. What's the next goal for Kendrick Lamar after it's all said and done, after he finishes music, after he decides to put the mic down, what is the next goal for Kendrick Lamar? Because we could hear from the SZA interview that music isn't what it's going to be when it comes to him finishing his career. Apparently, he wants to move on to another thing, but that also involves the communication to the general public. And it says here, while Kendrick isn't sure exactly what his end goal is just yet, he plans to absorb all the information he possibly can because he's a nerd for it to try to find out what his calling could be. So he's going to. And that's to me. That's what makes him stand out out of every artist. He's really out here trying to do something that is beyond music. Now, ideally, I would probably like him to be an a actor. But if he was to get into politics and try to, like, change some things, yeah, that would be a big thing. That would be a big move. Now, I don't necessarily can really see him as a politician. I mean, I can now that I think about it. But I would more on the lines of see him be an actor. You know what I'm saying? Maybe doing something. Maybe that would be his calling or something like that. Continue doing rap until he actually finds out what the calling is that he's been searching for. This is what he said when he was asked about his future. He says, I'm curious, and that's what keeps me energized. Information. I want it all. I want the resources. I want to meet people smarter than me. I want to talk to them. I want them to show me things. I just want to be fulfilled with whatever this world has to offer that hypes me up. Information. I'm a nerd for it. And it's very important that he says this because information is key. Knowledge is key. Again. And that's true. He's speaking facts. Information is key. A lot of times we do get what they call misinformation. Sometimes we get disinformation. Sometimes we get we get good information. Sometimes we get wrong information. You never really know because the system is so skewed. Like there is a lot of people out there who put out misinformation. Some people don't do it on purpose. Some people they don't do no enough research and they they basically put out something that they think is what it is. They give you an opinionated piece, but they give it to you in a um, a form of what they believe is a fact. You know what I'm saying? Or they give you a strong opinion and they try to mask it as it's a fact. You know what I'm saying? So I think that with Kendrick, I think he definitely, definitely uh, is a nerd for a lot of information. You could tell by his music. You could tell how he how he goes about his music. You could tell he's very knowledgeable about a lot of things. And I think that he's more on, to me, he's more on the lines of, of uh, playing, not even playing, 
but more on the lines of uh, of a uh, of talking to your psyche. You know what I'm saying? A lot of artists can't really talk to your psyche like him. He can he can push your buttons emotionally just by his words. You know what I'm saying? So I'm sure he studied some things into that realm too. In all the resources that you can, especially when people, when you gain it from people that are smarter than you, it actually benefits you when you soak up game, when you pick up game, when you learn from the next man. It's not, it's not a bad thing to soak up game, to learn game from the next man. You can't knock what the next man is doing because the next man probably could get you to the next place. So I really respect what he's saying here. I really, I really, I really feel and share this. That's, that's a fact. That's a fact. And that's why I'm so over here. That's why I'm so open with the comments. I love y'all comments over here because to me, it's, it's, it's good to learn from everybody. It's good to learn from people, even people that you don't particularly, uh, I would say, um, not to say get along with, but people that you don't really know too much about it's good to learn from them it's good to learn certain things it's good to learn other people's culture it's good to travel it's good to see the world if you never travel i'm gonna tell you now and i'll get into that a little bit at the end but let's finish it out same sentiments as him on this part too for real for real kendrick has won multiple awards during his music career so far and he intends to remind the world why rap music is so impactful when he headlines the 2025 Super Bowl halftime show. And it says here, rap music is still the most impactful genre to date. And this is a fact. And I'll be there to remind the world why they got the right one. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think rap music is probably the most impactful music ever. I think there's other uh, genres that come close, but I think the reason why rap is so impactful is because it's a whole combination of things. And I guess I'll speak and speak to that towards the end too, uh, but not speaking too much on it, but it's a whole combination of things is the reason why hip hop was and is the most impactful genre ever. Yeah, they got the right one. Was that a shot at Lil Wayne? Y'all can tell me in the comments. But was that a shot? No, I don't think that's a shot a little way. I don't think that's a, I don't know. Y'all can tell me in the comments if you feel like this was a, was this shade? But I feel like he's telling the truth, though. They did choose the right one. They did get the right person for the Super Bowl. And he's going to tell everybody and remind everybody why when the Super Bowl comes. I think it's about 100 days away. But yeah, this was a good thing to read. I, I believe that I'm not sure what Kendrick's end goal is. He's not sure either, but he's going to soak up all the game. All right, so we're going to end it there. Make sure y'all go, uh, you know, subscribe to the bill. Yeah, the reason why hip hop is so impactful is because when, when I was growing up, we had social media, but it wasn't as big as it is today. And a lot of people didn't hear hip hop all over the world. It was only certain artists that was heard. You got the m ms and you got your J's and you got your 50s. And that was really about it. That was heard all over the world. We ain't talking like we talking like heard all over the world. Now, you know, I had some pockets of people that uh, Japan definitely was influenced by and they definitely listened to hip hop music. But once the Internet, once streaming came into play and then they introduced streaming into all these other countries. And then you see how the culture of hip hop took over. Just the way people dress, just the way people move, the way they talk, that's all hip hop influence. Even in certain, even in other genres, they use the 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 808s, they use the beats, they use all that. Because hip hop is one of those genres that can basically, uh, how would I say this? It can it can it can morph into anything. You can make a hip hop Japanese song. You can make a hip hop country song. You know what I'm saying? You can make a hip hop song. There's people that do like kind of turn up from India. You know what I'm saying? So that's what it is. Now, as far as Kendrick goes, as far as his um um where he's gonna go in his career, I definitely think that he don't really need to do no more hip hop music. I think if he drops this last album and it's a classic, or even it don't even have to be a classic, even if it's a good album, which we all know it's gonna be a good album. 
he can actually retire from rap. He has enough albums and enough material that he's going to be solidified as one of the greatest, if not the greatest of all time. That's what's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? So it's just my personal opinion. That's what I think that he's, he, he's destined to do. You know what I'm saying? And me personally, I want to see him get into other things. I want to see him more active in other things, not just necessarily hip hop. You know what I mean? I'm not saying I don't want to see more of Kendrick in hip hop, because obviously I do, but I definitely want to see him do other things because I think that through his hip hop and through his albums, he can make a statement, but I think he can actually change things if he get into something else and he can literally put things into place that can help people, you know, whether it's, what's the name, uh, psychological or not. But I definitely think that he know how to play with people's emotions when it comes to the music. And that's what gives him an advantage over all these other artists because he can, he could connect with you personally on some things that you went through and experienced. A lot of these artists can't do that because they were either born into, into, into money or born into it, and they can't just connect with you on the same level. So, but yeah, man, that was a good video. Make sure y'all like, share, subscribe. You know what I'm saying? I'm out of here. I'll see y'all. Y'all have yourself a good day. Peace. Bye.